name is Angel. And we are active members of the Eat and the Game community. Um, we are here today to talk about Eat and the Game Burnout. So Burnout is an extension to uh, the game Eat and the Game. Gives you the opportunity to play a campaign, uh, bigger warbands, experience points, uh, resources, uh, fast and furious, fast furious and fun games. Uh, it's a Kickstarter starting on April 6th and uh, we are very lucky because we have one prototype. There's only three prototypes in the world and we have one of them. But we gave our commitment to make videos of our game, of our test. We are like guinea pigs for uh, Happy Games Factory. And uh, we also gave our commitment to make videos in English to share uh, this great game around the world. So this is what we will try today. Our English is not perfect. It's not that bad neither. Okay, we'll try our best anyway to share uh, our love for this game. Um, so this is our first game and it's just the beginning of a, of a campaign, okay? So let's start with it. And the aim of this video is not to explain you how to play it in the game, but just focus on the, the, the battle and um, the logistic between two games. So how you can experience, how you get resources and how you're going to use it, okay? Let's go! Okay, the first thing you have to do before you start a campaign is you have to build your headquarters. So you're bringing your warbands uh, all together. You have to choose between 200 and 300 points. We chose 210 points. Here is the warband of Neo, the mutants from the Khan clan. And then uh, we also have 210 points of uh, Nephilim for Angel. You don't have to bring your whole headquarters to the to the battle every time. You have to pick points from from this headquarters. You can uh, you can bring from 50 to uh, to the whole um, battle force. It's up to you according to the scenario and the the kind of game you want to have. For this first game of Eden Burnout, we will play scenario two which is the capture. In the course of one of our travels, we have spotted an enemy camp. According to one of our scouts, it seems that the enemies have been there for a long time. Maybe that if we capture one of them, we could get uh, very valuable information. We'll then place three crates onto the map, as indicated. Um, the attackers will start at 20 centimeters away from the center and the defenders 10 meters away from their corner. The attacker will then give one net to two of his characters which will get the capture ability. For one action point and once per turn, if your character is free and 5 centimeters away from an enemy character, he can throw a net. You will then throw 5 dice and add to that uh, the amount of, food, of wounds that you dealt to your enemy. If the result is above the points uh, of force of your enemy, then the character will be captured. If it is below, then the capture will have failed. At the end of the game, the attacker scores 100 victory points if he manages to capture an enemy and take him within the 10 centimeters of his starting zone. However, the defender scores 100 victory points if he does manage not to get captured by the enemy. If one of the characters from the defending team does get captured but is not taken to the attacking side, then each character, then each player scores 50 victory points. You will also get the 5 victory points for opening up a crate and using the objects which you find inside of them. 